Hi, so I am Professor Zubair Jangir and I will be telling you what all things you need to do after you've cleared your CS executor. Now, the very first thing that you need to do is celebrate. Remember, life is not a destination that after you reach that you will be happy. It's a journey. So at such an important step, don't forget to enjoy with your family, your friends, with your mentors. Okay, take that time out and enjoy life. Now coming back, what are the technical steps that you need to do? So there are these seven things that you need to cover and I will be taking you all through each one of them and telling you what you should be doing. So the very first one is your registration into CS professional. This has to be done on immediate basis and if you have not done Hang on with me. I will show you the full process. That's the first thing that you need to do. So first you need to go and get into your ICSI smash portal. Now ICSI smash portal, the username and the password would uh, already have been emailed to you. Okay. By ICSI, which you must have logged in, set up all the passwords that you need to log in. Moment you log in, then in this particular uh, tab will open up. In that you can see you go to module and then you go to professional registration request. Now this is the tab professional registration request. Once you click that it will take you to a important very important page where it will ask you to choose your elective paper your optional paper in CS professional in group one there is a CS uh, optional paper and in group two there is a optional paper. I in some time I will also tell you which one you should be choosing and uh, you know what is the right thing for you you will be able to take after my advice. You have to then make a certain payment or uh, automatic automated uh, amount will be set up. Okay once you click go to pay, uh, proceed for payment then you have to choose your optional paper. Now let me tell you about choosing your optional paper as well. Your uh, group one and group two has multiple optional papers and uh, your optional paper should be selected on basis of, uh, you know, ease of clearing that because in professional as light your burden can be that's better. Second, it should be cho uh, also thought that which classes are available for those lectures. Okay, so as an industry standard, you will find out that most of the classes and most of your mentors are choosing in group one CSR okay, and social governance. The and I would also recommend that. The logic is very simple that it has a under it's an easy subject. It's not a very technical subject It's social responsibility, something which you've already done in executive section 135 It's going to be expanded on that one second in your group one there is a subject called as governance ethics and sustainability now that con the whatever is given there it's just an extension or an overlapping thing here so you don't have to study a new subject altogether okay however you can also choose internal and forensic audit which is all about frauds which is also a very good uh, choice your ipr is a very popular choice among students as well and artificial intelligence. I don't think people will be taking artificial intelligence due to the technical nature. But let me tell you, I used to teach this subject in the old syllabus, uh, you know, previously where they had information technology as an entire subject and profession. So data security, cyber, uh, this I used to teach is the same module actually, which is there. Okay. So, but still I would recommend the student to, uh, you know, choose CSR. Or even if they go for internal audit, it's fine, but it's going to be something new that they will be studying and you don't want a new headache. Even IPR is not covered anywhere in your CS professional curriculum. So it's something new that you will have to do. However, in as a law student, there is a mastery that is there in your LLB, which I had also done in IPR. So you, if you've done it, then you can go ahead for IPR as well. In group two, in your group to the optional paper hands down no options at all given according to me you have multiple options but you should not go for any other thing other than insolvency 
sir there is labor law there is banking there is gst there is arbitration and there is insolvency now remember why insolvency again now first i teach insolvency at the indian institute of corporate affairs as well okay so i take up this insolvency subject now reason why i'm telling you to take it what happens is in your corporate restructuring which is a compulsory subject in group 2 it already has part b as insolvency which is the same as this insolvency 80 to 90% syllabus is same so as a professional student you should also think which is going to be easier to clear reduce your burden you will have ultimately five subjects to give because two optional are already overlapping in some of the compulsory subjects so that's my logic that's the right thing to do however if there is a chartered accountant who is also giving cs professional they would prefer gst apart from that i don't think you should you know go to any other optional subject okay and again insolvency has massive scope in the practical world as well so after you've done you will make the payment you will get a entire uh, you know registration of particular details and invoice will be given to you once you are done again cherish be happy you've done one step again the very next thing that you need to do is your 30 days edp now executive development program has to be done after you've cleared your executive okay now it is 30 days but 15 days online after 15 days online once you complete then you have to go to the 15 days offline now how do you do it what's the process let me tell you this also you should be doing it immediately after registration in cs professional immediately so how do you do that what is the process etc let me tell you so first thing is your smash username and password is the same login credentials login details is the same for one more website which is icsi stimulate portal this is once you put in icsi stimulate this particular interface will open up your login id and password you put it same as your smash you log in once you log in then you will be able to see this particular 15 days edp 15 days these are all the trainings that you need to complete so the very and they have given an order first the 15 days edp then the 15 days offline then the 21 months training then cldp so this is a given in order so how do you do it very simple very important login icsi stimulate i would advise you to do it immediately once you do that then you go ahead and here it would be written apply here okay 15 days edp apply here so you can go ahead apply you would have to pay a certain uh, 2000 rupees it will automatically be automated the payment amount you have to go ahead and do it immediately once in 15 days edp after you completed a module you have to wait for some time there is a cooling period then again you can do the next so there are video lectures that you have to watch there will be some time gap between the video lectures so once you do it you will come to know now remember after the 15 days edp you have to do your 15 days classroom sir 30 days from where we will get okay such a busy schedule professional exams are coming so answer is you can complete this in 15 days only both once you have done your 15, so i'll tell you when you should do your 15 days edp also okay don't waste your time this is something which you would not come to know otherwise let me tell you when you apply for your 15 days classroom mode edp that time you can simultaneously uh, do your 15 days edp if it is permitting otherwise complete your edp then go for your 15 days classroom sometimes it is allowing students to uh, you know do both together also okay so you can try it out otherwise 15 days online 15 days offline for the offline also you have to pay a fee of 5000 rupees this 15 days you have to go to the centers where they will teach you the basics uh, you know as a professional how do you need to act what is the boardroom etiquettes what is your dining etiquettes what are the corporate etiquettes so all those things will be taught to you so it is a very uh, important thing now remember i showed you through icsi stimulate portal you can log in into your online edp or you can also go to tcs ion 
in that also there is a online edp 15 days edp which you can do i have made a detailed video of how to do edp it will be given in the description of this video okay once you have done with the edp then comes 21 months training sir article ship when to start is most important we know that after executive we have to complete our article ship now should you start immediately now remember you are also allowed to get married by law does it mean you should get married immediately so just because you have a right doesn't mean you have to use it immediately so let me tell you what is the right time to start your article ship what do you think should you start simultaneously and then start your thing or you should complete your full professional then start that also you can do so the answer is very simple now pay attention to this okay your first attempt whenever it is of cs professional you give it you take classes and then you give your first attempt in cs professional so what happens with that you will have time to study uh, you will still be a student student you can study the full day you saw an executive so much effort goes in professional also you need to put more amount of efforts because all the executive cleared students are going to compete in professional so don't make the mistake of starting article ship immediately because you will not get time for classes you will not get time for studies and you will just keep working working and your cs will take lot of years to complete so the best thing is give one attempt of professional try your level best to clear it both the groups try to clear it or as many if you're giving one group try to clear it get your classes everything sorted study then whatever is the result whether you've cleared or not cleared you will start your article ship immediately after your first attempt moment you've given the exam the very next day you will start searching for uh, article ships why because even if the results are negative but since you've already studied you have an idea now you won't require that much amount of time and plus since now you will be getting practical exposure also you will end up clearing your exams much faster so that is the time you should start your article ship now coming to pre-test and odop remember in executive we did pre-test and odop odop is not required in cs professional but pre-test is required pre-test is same before filling the exam form for whichever group you're giving for each subject you need to clear your pre-test now this also how to give pre-test i believe you must be knowing tcs io and you can go ahead and give your pre-test or i have also made a video you can just google it up it will come up the next is very important is classes for cs professional now remember one thing in CSCET, those who taught you, do you think the same people can teach you CS pro, uh, executive? There is a little high end, uh, you know, knowledge required. Similarly, from executive to professional, you need to keep in mind few things. Let me tell you what. First, you need to see that who is going to teach you. You should know your faculty. You should know their fac faculty's teaching style whether you are comfortable with their teaching style their track record what it is there at jungle tutorials we have got at professional all india second rank all india first rank all india sixth rank all india 13th rank now these are rank holders but we've also got many many successful students who've cleared the papers but what is most important is the teaching style i teach the professional subjects i teach it from the module i teach it in a very simplified and a professional way now one thing i want to tell you which i think you should keep in mind when you're going for online classes now online sometimes people are having physical students and at the same time they are teaching online students now what happens with that their focus and attention is divided at our classes when we are teaching we are having a proper a uh, dedicated you know room studio in that we are teaching the students so what happens the attention is on you and nobody else there is no distractions lectures are well edited made to the point at professional level you cannot sit for 8 hours 9 hours of online lectures 
you require something who makes it concise and short and the language the language in which we'll be teaching is professional language it will be in english i will be there if you've already studied in executive you know that how i teach and you can see our demo videos as well so go ahead join the lectures join our uh, whatsapp groups and telegram groups dedicated for cs professional you will get all the updates revision lectures there so i see you all in the lectures and i wish you all all the very best take care guys